the chairperson of uh, this morning's opening session, our uh, respected and beloved National Professor Brigadier Abdul Malik, who is also the president of the National Heart Foundation, guests of honor, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. Let me first begin by congratulating BCCP as well as uh, the John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Medicine for this uh, wonderful initiative. You may be aware that uh, recently we have uh, amended the existing legislation that we have had on this subject. And that legislation clearly states the importance of having a policy. Is I think the work that is being presented today and the initiative that has been taken for research is actually going to help us shape that policy. Um, on what basis do we actually formulate or articulate policies? It shouldn't be on the basis of gut feeling or what bureaucrats are recommending. It should be on the basis of scientific evidence and research that is carried out. So now sustainable development and tobacco control have been linked together. And I think this presents a wonderful opportunity for us to promote this agenda because it's not just a question of the tobacco lobby or trying to take a position against tobacco. It is now mainstream development and it is something that governments have adopted all across the world. So I think this is a fundamental change and we should take full opportunity of that change. Now how do we do that? Unless we have the research to back up what we are trying to do, we are always going to be falling short. And I think it's, uh, it's wonderful that we now have uh, 20 researchers, as I've just learned, and they cover the whole spectrum. There are a number of challenges when we do research. The first challenge is, quite often there is a disconnect between the research, the work of the research, and the needs of the policy makers. So how do we harmonize this? How do we make sure that the research that we do is going to be of use and utility to the policy makers? And personally, I think that Bangladesh has had incredible success in a number of areas, nationally, internationally. If you look at uh, the social indicators, you know, we are way ahead of uh, countries in the region. If you look at uh, the Bangladesh image internationally, the other dimension that Bangladesh can contribute to in terms of building the Bangladesh brand, in terms of cultivating and nurturing the Bangladesh brand, is in the area of research. We have got bright young people who are exceptionally talented. We see it in IT, we see it in social enterprises, in business enterprises. The young generation of Bangladesh is moving forward. And I think if they can be encouraged to embrace research as a way of stamping the Bangladesh brand on the globe, I think this would be another excellent opportunity. And I for one certainly look forward to the outcome that you have, because I think uptake on the policy that you do not just for implementation, but also for formulating our policies is going to be very, very important. I wish you well in your endeavors, and I'm happy to be in this inaugural session.